Hello and welcome back. This is Shobhan Sen with the Adobe Photoshop Elements 11 Made Easy Tutorials. This is part 3 and we will go straight to editing part this time. Uh, today I'll begin with cropping. Cropping is a very important function of editing. Cropping can enhance your pictures greatly. You can discard superfluous or unwanted portions from a picture. You can position your subject or the main attraction or the focal point in the right place. And as well as you can straighten out pictures in many cases. We will discuss this straightening out and some of the other things later. Today I am going to show you the basic cropping. How to do cropping in Photoshop Elements 11. Okay, <clears throat> I already have a picture up in my editing area. Suppose we want to crop this picture. The first thing to know is this is the crop tool. I click here, as you can see, this is in light, uh, what you call uh, highlighted, and you are ready to crop. Now, Photoshop offers several options for cropping. These are the three different options you can use. One is the first one that is highlight, highlighted already or checked already is called rule of thumbs. The second one gives you a grid so you can adjust your cropping. And the third one is called the golden ratio. That kind of uh, gives you the idea where exactly to place the main subject or the focal point of your photo so it is uh, it is aesthetically beautiful okay i'll go a uh, little bit quickly but uh, because time is limited here but the other things to know is that this gives you option for custom cropping or these are the different options no restrictions i'll try the no restrictions first and uh, you can also specify in some cases uh, the width and height of the picture you want and you can specify the resolution for example if you resolution is expressed in pixels per inch but there are other things pixels per centimeter we'll use pixels per inch normally for uh, printing purposes the best resolution is 300 so let's type in 300 okay we are doing a sample cropping with no restrictions using the rule of thirds let's say we want to crop out this picture to keep the lady only in the picture and discard this mural part so all you need to do is click somewhere where you want to start your crop and drag your mouse to the part and you, you, you get a crop area. Now th this is called rule of thirds. As you can see this area is divided into three, three, three and you, you can move your crop box anywhere you want. For example, let us say you normally do not keep the subject exactly in the middle of the picture. That doesn't look good. Usually it's that's the call the rule of thirds. Let's manually move the crop box somewhere here and when you are ready with the cropping click on this green check mark or commit the crop if you want to cancel out you will click this this red thing but we we are going to crop using this one so i'll do the commit and see the mural has been clipped out or cropped out and you get the picture of the lady this is just for example but while I am doing this, ex explaining this part, no restriction or use photo ratio, uh, let, let me just undo this thing for the sake of explaining. Let's, let's make a crop box again. Let's say this is the crop box with no restrictions. Suppose you wanted to have some other uh, options. Use photo ratio is the next option. So let's click on that. The crop box is already there. See, when you do use photo ratio, the crop box has, is different. Okay, let's cancel that out too. Uh, 
to cancel you click here and the other options you have here are the print sizes 6 by 9 2.5 by 2 3 by 5 4 by 6 etc so these are the different options available to you uh, but I'll for this purpose of demonstration I'll keep the no restriction now let's try another kind of crop uh, using another method I, I took a different picture for the sake of variety now we will use the rule of thumbs this one I mean I'm sorry I mean grid grid so when when I choose a crop box here I click somewhere and drag and we get a box and you see you see all these grids there so you can use the grid to position your picture wherever you like let us say we like this one and this is with no restriction and I commit or click on this green check mark and the picture is cropped all right so let's clear cancel that out I say no I don't want to save uh, let's see this is the photo bin on the bottom uh, I should have another picture here this is the one uh, There is the other picture I want to use and I'm cropping uses using this golden ratio rule option. This is said this this one here that is highlighted golden ratio. Now you see the difference when we do the golden ratio thing you will see one thing important. Let's see let's do no restriction. Okay. Now let's try the golden ratio thing. Now golden ratio means, I'm sorry, uh, uh, this doesn't work. Uh, cancel this out. Excuse me, I made a mistake. Golden ratio is always some kind of custom. Uh, Okay, sorry about that confusion. Uh, we are doing the third crop using the golden ratio. I'll take this picture to use that golden ratio crop or to demonstrate that golden ratio crop. Let's, let's pick a picture like this. Now you see this in this crop box, there are two sets of uh, cropping area are intersecting here uh, in, the, in the, the, this point this point that is highlighted that is supposed to be the best place to to position your main subject if it is a picture of a person or something when that person is placed somewhere there then aesthetically that picture is best so we can move this crop box let's try to move, move it to wherever uh, we can let, let, let's see our 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 uh, th this little boy is our main subject and th th this point doesn't have to be exactly the boy doesn't have to be exactly on this point but he has to be somewhere near that point or around that point so I think this is a very good proportion we have chosen and if we crop it right right now you see this is the effect we are getting so this is the third kind of uh, crop we have done the first one was using the rule of thirds. The second one was using the grid system. And the third one was the golden ratio. So I'll close this uh, part of the tutorial today because it's going to get too long. But there are other things to know in the cropping which I'll cover in my next tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye.